Okay, so, our final Halloween month review today is Children of the Corn. Not the remake, not the sequels. I'm only doing the original because I don't want to put myself through, through the sequels. So, the plot of this one is, is based on the short story by Stephen King. And... Physician, 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 no, no, as Sykin, Bert, Stanton, and his girlfriend Vicky drive across the Midwest to a sudden halt when they encounter the body of a murdered boy in the road. In trying to contact the authorities, Bert and Vicky. Trip comes to assault and Midwest his new job. The they trip, the trip comes to a certain halt when they encounter a body of a murdered boy in the road. In trying to contact the authorities, Bert and Vicky wander into a small town populated only by children and followers of sinister young preacher Isaac Croner. Soon the couple is fleeing the youthful fanatics who want to sacrifice them to their demons. They Dighty. Turn of the corn, the original. I love it. The uh, my, my problem with this movie is that it takes itself <laughs> way too seriously. <laughs> and I like this movie. This movie has become a cult classic. I like the acting in this movie. I like the acting from everyone. Um, Peter Horton who looks a little bit like Michael Bay <laughs> for whatever reason John Franklin as Isaac Croner the main antagonist he's great as Isaac he is grown on <laughs> he's he's an actor and he teaches screenwriting now so that is pretty cool <laughs> you also got Courtney Gaines and Linda Hamilton Sarah Con the original Sarah Connor in this movie as the main female protagonist and I I like her. Like all the acting in this movie and um the acting in this movie is great. I like all the acting here. The the children are very creepy. They're also scary and very awesome. Now I will admit the remake from 2009, if if closely follows the original storyline, in the that's present in the short story and not of the original film. I have seen most of the sequels. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them are pretty crappy. Children of the Freaking Corn Seven Revelations, or just Revelation, or Revel whatever you want to call it. I don't give a care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but the acting in this movie is good. The writing is iffy. It's iffy as heck. Lyndall Hamilton came coming fresh off the Terminator, the first one, and she's great. She is great. <clears throat> and so I do like I do like the acting in the movie. It's fine. <laughs> and so I. I am um, kind of enjoy this movie. It does have its problems, but uh, it's an okay film. It's an o. It's an okay movie. It's an okay movie. I'm not gonna give this movie a terrible review. I'm not gonna. Give, I mean, a terrible rating. <laughs> oh my God, what is wrong with me? Mm. So. I will give Children of the Corn an epitastic. Let me know what you think about this movie down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'll see you guys.